Reports of widespread disturbances in technology affecting several countries and their origin is out of this world. We'll be finding out more from one of the space scientists monitoring the situation. What the? story, a severe space weather event is causing widespread disruption to electrical and communication systems around the world. Power grids, GPS, television, radio and mobile networks have all been affected. How is this happening? Expert scientists say that pulsations or sounds within Earth's magnetic shield, the magnetosphere, are to blame. Joining me now is Dr. Martin Archer, space physicist at Queen Mary University of London. Martin, could you tell me more about this space weather event? Space weather? Space sounds? What does space even sound like? That doesn't make any sense. These sounds have resulted in increased levels of radiation in space, which have damaged some of our satellite systems, and caused electrical currents to flow through the ground, which are affecting our infrastructure. That's what we mean by space weather. The films? Very active Where are they coming from?
Vex. Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, can you do me a favour? Could you stash some stuff for me? No. No, look, don't be... They're not going to search you, you... Cut the power off for, eh? You didn't top up the meter. Hey, have you got any candles? Enough for my room. Ah. Can I come in your room then? What are you listening to? What the fuck? You wouldn't understand. Who listens to random noise? Well, you do. Ignorant. No, that's quality Dutch progressive. Okay. Man's blowing up from clubs all over Europe. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you don't really go out, do you? Or maybe you're a bit of a dark horse, you know, secretly out in the pool, or mandied up in clubs where all they play is that. <laughs> hey, for real, how come you're never around? I work. <sighs> you can't smoke that in here. No, give me a fucking break. That is two grand on its way to the sea I'll never see again. Oh, I'm supposed to be sympathetic. <laughs> I'm serious, you can't smoke that in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. I don't worry about it. Man. Jesus. You're going to smoke that there with police right outside. Mm hmm. I like having a police escort when I'm late. But just now, in the, the toilet, you were getting rid of stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Cops don't care about weed. You really don't know anything, do you? Don't do they? Want some? What does it do? You never? No. It's nice. It takes the edge off. I smoked. So, this is what you do for a living? Nah. I'm a music producer, this just pays the bills. So that electronic stuff is you? Some of it, yeah. Want to hear a track? Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> it's good, right? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. So what do you like? I don't really. 
thought your noise. My noise is better than that. Oh, I suppose it doesn't do anything except that. Oh, I know. I mean, I didn't realize that two people could fuck so much and still manage to make it louder every time. It's disgusting. Fuck, it's like they want to be heard. This is their knocking shit over and they're screaming. I swear they use the floor like a massive speaker code and they're just like pounding against it. <laughs> Uh, so that's why you listen to that to like drown it out. No. No. Oh, you're just weird. No. They mean something. There's meaning in there. They're from space. It's the sound of. They're the sounds of. When a particle hits the Earth's magnetic field, it produces a. a, a Vibration, like a, uh, like a sound wave. Like a string, like hitting a violin string. Yes, just like that. The violin. My friend, I'm a Renaissance boy. So, why? But the, uh, they might mean something. Um, something has to release those particles, and, and most of the time, it's it's the sun, the, the solar wind, but it could theoretically be coming from something else, something new. It, it might be it might be being produced on purpose. And if I can hear something in the in the noise that might be a marker. And you're looking the, for aliens. Well uh, signs of activity. Fuck I I knew you're weird, but <laughs> But something out there might be uh, And you producing... think they're gonna talk to you, are they? Well there won't be a direct message. No offense, but you're not the most sociable, are you? That's not the point. Oh, here they are, they've finally arrived. The first thing they find is a post-it on a weather satellite saying, Welcome to Earth. Please get your own milk. Well, that's just stupid. Look, hey, hey, hey. All I'm saying is how come you can't even talk to your own flatmates? But you want to be the first person to talk to aliens. Well, maybe my flatmates aren't worth talking to. I'm a practice conversationalist. You're a fucking drug dealer. No, I'm a music producer. And you're messy and you're lazy and you steal things. Ooh. And and all you do is sit in your dump of a room all day um, listening to that awful music and pretend like you're going to be somebody. <laughs> well, I mean, you're going to be someone, I suppose. Yeah, you know, freak, maybe. Freak, queen of the aliens. Please leave. I'm joking, okay? Leave now. Are you serious? Mate, it's fucking, it's freezing out there. Get out. Get out or I'll call the police. And say what? That you're a, 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 a drug dealer and a thug and that you, you won't leave my room and you're harassing me and maybe they should come and look in your room okay, okay, and maybe they might okay, find something that's... Up, shut up, Okay? Fine. I'm going, all right? Jesus. I'm going. What are you doing? Waiting. For what? Um, you? I was thinking about your space violin noise. And I thought you might like this. It's like... The music. Me and my dad used to like this.
sounds again. Are they? Are they the space sounds? How are they getting onto my devices? You may have been told there's no sound in space because space is a vacuum, but there's no such thing as a true vacuum. So there are particles in space? Yes, that's right. In space there are about 5 billion billion times fewer particles than in the air we breathe. But crucially, that's not zero. But surely that's not enough to support sound. No, actually, you can have sound in space. But because there are so few particles in space, these sounds are quite different to the ones we're used Come to. On. They're incredibly weak.
exist at frequencies some hundreds of thousands of times lower than we can usually hear. But if you can amplify them and speed up their playback, then they'd be audible. What now? Maybe someone in space could hear me scream. How to get from A to B or 2 to 3 in the most direct route possible without getting lost or forgetting the purpose of the journey. Partway up the hill I realise that I need to name the start point. There now seems to be more locations that are referred to as just point A and as such I will now call it Harrington Hill. The buzzer interrupts my thoughts. I must now break off and write them down. What was I just thinking about? Or was I just listening? My mind was somewhere back over the hill, back in the supermarket. What did I need to buy for dinner tonight? The sound of my footsteps on the pavement fills the quiet pauses. The high-pitched screech of the approaching train sends the passing dog into a frenzy, running back and forth, its eyes wide, wild, searching for the source of the sound. The train passes overhead. I'm trying to count the leaves on the swaying branch. Now, having travelled for many periods of time, looking back to Harrington Hill, it begins to dawn on me that Harrington Hill is no longer the place I remember it to be. And since I have been away for so long, my familiar understanding has turned to estrangement. As it persisted in my memory, I continue to recreate it as it was and not as it is. I am not there. I am creating it anew. I think it now proper to be renamed Homerton Hill. Now having passed from the first point to the second, how will point B become locatable? My intention in setting out from point A, now referred to as Middleton, was to finally arrive at point B. What is the name of B to be called by when I've never been there before? Two eggs in the basket will never be changed back into six just by consensus. Bus, beep, stop, pause, wait. Buzz, beep, stop, pause, wait. Buzz, beep, stop, pause, wait. Write down your experience. Put your thoughts into words. I'm trying to count the leaves on the swaying branch. He tells her about the dog, David Bowie colored eyes. As my next foot hits the floor, the pavement halts the progress, stops it dead, frozen to the ground. The next one swings around. My brother's situation was running through my thoughts, its differences and similarities with my own. All the locations exist out there in the infinite archive of outer space. As we know, captured in sound and played out one after the other. Sounds are continuous. How do you freeze frame a sound? flows punctuated by intervals of ones, twos and threes, the self shadowing all the others across the multitude of A to Bs and one through threes, those who are others without yet names, back at point A, never changed, names changed even me, back at the point, here, he is no longer me, 
A, reco A, recurring sound, an echo, the answer's number 51, and how long have you lived there? And of course, during this exposition, I keep moving from point to point. Is it possible to stop? It took her a long time to locate the number on the piece of paper. Requestioned. Street name, your name, house number. Gravitational, sound waves. Your voice and my voice, they both sound the same inside my head. Your voice and my voice, they both sound the same in my thoughts. Sounds recorded from space, captured and converted into a human scale, compressed to an audible frequency. God save the Queen in Morse code. All the words into Morse code. A binary code made up of long and short sounds. The national anthem represents the boundaries of a nation and a common culture. Dots and dashes, national boundaries sent into outer space. All its inhabitants can identify. It is a culture exported as a symbol to project out to the rest of the world. Descriptive experience sampling. Buzz, beep, mind, sampling. An experiment to examine inner voices and thoughts. The participant is randomly alerted to stop and note down in written form their thoughts. These notes are then discussed by the trained psychologist and interpreted for the purpose of contributing to the research project. I'm trying to count the leaves on the swaying branch. The announcer's voice from the stadium is booming back off the tower block. The abandoned building appears to be shouting back at the city that has neglected it for so long. Distant sounds of trains are almost constant, or are they planes overhead? Just traffic, the soundscape, gravitating around the city. I can still see the unseen man entering the back of the van, moving its contents around, ready for transit. She thought she could hear them singing. Yes, it was. It was the national anthem, rising up from the circular bowl of the sports stadium. God save the Queen. The stream of voices slowly drifted into the incessant dots and dashes of Morse code, reverberating back down to earth from the atmosphere. A national anthem, a way once of trying to define a nation among the nations. A moment that stands still, a freeze frame, a complete, unchanging image on screen, a blank screen and a frozen sound. How do you pause a sound? Names and numbers. Names and numbers. A to B, from one named place to another. Another of a different name. From one to two, and what lies in the space between. The beeper interrupts my journey, brings everything to a sudden halt, stops, dead. I must now turn all my attention inwardly, and think through all that was happening in my mind, the moment that led up to the sound of the beep, now. Now, having travelled for many periods of time, looking back to Harrington Hill, it begins to dawn on me that Harrington Hill is no longer the place I remember it to be, and since I have been away for so long, my familiar understanding has turned to estrangement. As it persisted in my memory, I continue to recreate it as it was, and not as it is. I imagine it as it is now. I am not there. I am creating it anew. How to turn those mental traces into a written form. The fragments of inner speech. The drifting dialogues passing around in my mind. Those which are new and those which are repeated anew. The way all the sounds and smells are being processed into a verbal and now written form, preempting what shape the conversation will take. Chipped away enamel, chipped away from his eroded front teeth. The sit-down moment, a moment of face-to-face -face clarity. Face-to-face, chair-to-chair, point of encounter, the conversation with the analyst. 
Hooves' voice. They still call the answer the truth. Count the raindrops. Count the raindrops in your view. Count them as they fall. Count them as they land. Count them backwards. Calculate them backwards from the accumulated water and divided by the size of the individual average raindrop. Count the leaves at the end of the branch. Try to see them stop swaying. What other routines do I have? Can I list them all? All the recurring mental scenarios which regularly haunt my conscious moments. If I listed them and explained them, would they stop recurring? Will writing them down stop them, remove their trace from my being and turn me into someone new? Would this be the measure of the space between me and you, measured in numbers and words, characters on a screen, quantified and verified by other participants and their data? being monitored what are we doing to tackle these space sounds well we're using our satellite instruments to measure the space environment around the earth they're designed to be sensitive enough to do this without being affected too much otherwise a lot of other systems are being put into safe mode to protect against damage surely it can't be every screen all of my electronics everything so the advice for now is to stay calm stay at home and to wait for things to return to normal 
We're getting reports that the space weather event is now over and many systems are coming back online. Dr. Archer, while that's obviously good news, what about the future? Will something like this happen again? Well, the reason that we study Earth's magnetosphere, space sounds and other phenomena that contribute to space weather is so that we can get better at forecasting this stuff and safeguard our systems against the sort of damage and disruptions that we've seen today. Again, really?
I think I will be now. <laughs>